X-Edit Community Guides. You've requested, I've complied. What are ESLs? How and when should I use them? Is there anything to be wary of? Those are the questions. This is the answer. When deciding which plugins to flag with ESL, it's important to understand load order, especially the difference in placement between the ESL extension and an ESP with the ESL flag. If you are new to modding, new to ESLs, or need a refresher, a video on load order is provided. Some of the information here may be more important to others than it is to you. Try to understand what you can, but don't be overly concerned if you are just using mods and not creating them. For Skyrim SE, there is a bug with ESLs when they contain new interior cell records. The new interior records themselves are fine until another plugin overrides one of them. Once an override happens, none of its temporary children are loaded. Only persistent ones are. To overly simplify this, when new interior cell records in ESLs are overwritten, the game breaks. ESL flag plugins can only have a total of 2,048 new records. You can try to add more and it simply won't work. Records that override existing records in your load order do not count towards this limit. So, you can have a total of 2,048 new records added to other records that override other plugins in a single ESL. Regarding patches, because files with the ESL extension always load before ESPs, in practice, the ESL extension should not be used to create patches as they will most likely load before the mods they are trying to patch and crash the game. Use ESPs flagged with ESL instead. I suggest not creating ESL extensions at all unless you are an experienced mod author and you know exactly what you are doing. If a plugin contains new records, the object IDs of the new records must be between 800 and FFF. If the records are outside of this range, the plugin has to go through a compacting process to change the plugin's object IDs to fit that range before it can be flagged as an ESL. Anything that patches this renumbered plugin or uses it as a master file will no longer work and crash the game. Thankfully, XEdit contains a script that can be run to tell you what plugins in your load order already fit this criteria without needing to be compacted. We cover that shortly. Also, from XEdit 4.0 onwards, a built-in safety measure won't allow you to save a plugin with the ESL flag if the IDs are out of the proper range. It even reports existing ESL plugins that have issues. Concerning the compaction process, due to the object IDs being changed, if you compact a plugin on a game in progress, your save file will break. For that same reason, if a mod that you have compacted is updated, you will not be able to download that update on a game in progress or the save will break. Various data may also not compact properly and will need to be fixed by hand in the creation kit, which in some cases may take as much time as creating the original mod. Unless you are the author of a mod, you should avoid compacting altogether. So, with all of this information, what types of plugins should general users actually flag as ESLs in their personal load order? A command and script has been created to do this for you. This process is the recommended one. It requires us to add a command line argument to xEdit. I use MO2, so that's what I'm showing here. If you don't use MO2, add the command to an xEdit shortcut. If you are using a mod manager that allows you to import additional tools, you can then do so to the shortcut after you add the command to it. Though as long as all of your plugins are in the data folder, which to date is where every other manager places them, you can simply launch the shortcut from where it is. Open the Modify Executables window. Select xEdit. In the Arguments field, add dash sudo esl then select Modify. Launch XEdit. Select OK to allow every plugin in your load order to load. If a mod group window opens, you can simply close it. When loaded, select the menu at the top left, Options. In the General tab, activate the checkbox for Show File Header Flags if it's not already. Select OK. At the bottom left of the app, in Filter by Name, enter Left Bracket FE. What you see in the left pane are all plugins that can be flagged as ESL without needing to be compacted. 
as well as all files that are already flagged as ESL via the file header column. Keep in mind that if you are doing this for Skyrim SE, you may still want to check for new interior cell records before flagging any of them. When ready, locate and select to highlight a plugin to be flagged. In the right pane, locate Record Flags. Double click to edit. Activate the checkbox for ESL. Select OK. That's it. Save the plugin by closing X Edit. Be sure that the plugin is checkmarked and select OK. When finished, remove the sudo ESL command so the next time you launch XEdit, you see the true form IDs again. You could also leave the argument and rename the tool something along the lines of XEdit sudo ESL. Then go ahead and add XEdit to MO2 again, saving it without an argument so that you can quickly switch between the two in the future. We do not need to add a command for this process. It just takes a little more searching as it gives detailed results. This method is for those who are uncomfortable adding command line arguments. Launch XEdit. Select OK to allow every plugin in your load order to load. When loaded, right click anywhere in the left pane. Select Apply Script. Select the drop down next to script. Search for and select Find ESP Plugins, which could be turned into ESL. Select OK. Now, in the right pane messages tab, beneath the start point of the script, all of your plugins are listed with different messages. Every plugin with the message can be turned into ESL by adding ESL flag and test for a header, and that doesn't have any warnings, can be flagged as ESL without having to go through the process of compacting object IDs. Just like with the other method, for those using Skyrim SE, you need to browse the plugin and be sure new interior cells do not exist before flagging. When ready, locate and select to highlight a plugin to be flagged with ESL in the left pane. In the right pane, locate Record Flags. Double click to edit. Activate the checkbox for ESL. Select OK. That's it. Save the plugin by closing X Edit, being sure that the plugin is checkmarked and select OK. A special thank you to our poet lords, Watch Hill, The Man Dread 1957, and Trotsky for their charitable contributions and support. Thank you to those of you keeping Gamer Poets a reality. I am Michael of Gamer Poets, and I hope to see you next time.